Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel SSC Selector. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find the tangents. If we know the radius and chord which are drawn from point of contact of tangents. The length of AB is 16. Let's see how we can solve this. So to solve this question, first of all, we'll prove that this line AM is uh, bisected by OP as well as perpendicular. And for that, let's join OB. Now to prove that this line is perpendicular and AM and BM are equal, let's see how we can prove this. First of all, I'm giving you a property that if two adjacent sides are equal, this figure is, is a kite and this particular diagonal will be perpendicular and bi bisected by another longer diagonal, this one. So in this one, you remember that BD is perpendicular to AC and AC is bisector of BD. AC is not bisected, but AC bisects BD. And we can prove that this, of course, let's see how we can prove this. In triangle AOP and triangle BOP, OA and OB are equal radius. PA and PB are equal tangent from external point. OP is equal to OP and therefore triangle AOP is congruent to triangle BOP by side, side, side. And therefore angle APO is equal to angle BPO. And now we will take triangle APM and triangle BPM. In these two triangles, that is this one, angle APM and BPM are equal. AP and PB are equal. And PM is equal to PM. And therefore, triangle APM congruent to triangle BPM by side angle side. And therefore, AM is equal to BM, CPCT. And also angle AMP and BMP are equal. Both are equal to 180 degree and the sum of the two is 180. And therefore, each of these is equal to 90 degree. So AM and BM are equal also and this angle is 90 degree that is PO is perpendicular to AP, perpendicular bisector. Now finally, let's see how to find out the length of AP. The values which are given are OA 10, AB is 16, so AM is 8 and BM is 8. We have just now proved that it is bisector. So 8 and 8. So we can say that OM is 6 by Pythagoras triplet simply. 3, 4 and 5 are Pythagoras triplet. 5 is 10, 4 is 8, so 3 is 6 and therefore OM is 6. Now let's see how to find out the length of AP. So there are different ways, but what I'm doing here is I'm using similar property and there are there is a direct formula also. But, but uh, first of all, let's see how we can solve this by similarity. This angle is 90 degree, this angle is 90 degree. So in triangle AOM, APM, one angle is 90 degree each. Now angle OAM and angle AOM are 180 degree. So let's say if it is X and this is Y. So X plus Y is 90 degree. Now if these two are 90 degree, angle OAP is also 90 degree because radius from point of contact of tangent is perpendicular to the tangent. So if X plus Y is 90 degree, this is X. This angle is y. Now this is 90 degrees. So this angle is also x because x plus y is 90 degrees. 
So now we have proved that triangle APM is similar to triangle APM is similar to OAM. And therefore, the length of their sides are proportional. OM, OM, which is opposite to X, and AM opposite to X, OM upon AM is equal to OA, which is opposite to 90 degree, upon AP. Now we already know the length of OM is 6, AM is 8. So this is 6 and this is 8. OA is 10. We have to calculate AP. Now cross multiplication and that will give you AP is equal to 8 into 10, 80 by 6. That is 40 by 3. So length of AP is 40 by 3. And similarly, we can find out the length of PM. 6 by 8 is equal to 8 by PM. OM upon AM is equal to AM upon PM. OM is 6, AM is 8, and this is 8 upon PM. 8 is a 64, 6 PM is equal to 64. And therefore, PM is 64 by 6. That is 32 by 3. So the length of PM is 32 by 3. Length of PB is 40 by 3. So by similar triangle approach, we can find out the length of all the sides of this triangle OAP and OB. So I hope friends, you like this video. Please like our videos and subscribe to our channel.